Hey guys, my name is Dave and welcome to another video. So today I actually kind of want to give my thoughts on hand-me-downs. It's a, it's a weird thing to talk about, I understand that, and not a lot of people like hand-me-downs. I want to acknowledge, before we start talking about this, I do want to acknowledge the fact that I am fully aware not a lot of people like hand-me-downs. But me, specifically? Realistically, most of my life I've had hand-me-downs. And it's never bothered me. I don't know whether to consider this a good thing or a bad thing towards other people, but... To me, a hand-me-down is more of a memory, if anything. Like the shirt that I'm wearing right now. And yes, I chose to wear this shirt for the sake of this video. You'll see me wearing it in the Nino Kuni episode later, but... This shirt was actually gifted to me by... I believe it was my grandmother who gifted it. But... At the beginning of this year, my grandfather had passed away. And... It, it was a hard hitter. On everyone. I mean, for heaven's sake, it was such a hard hitter on me that when I made a video about it, people thought I looked drunk when, in reality, I was just extremely down about it. I was extremely close with this grandfather. And when I was asked would I like to have some of the shirts that he used to own, like this one, there's a reason I said yes to me. This kind of thing is like symbolism of a memory of a man who I was very close to. Someone who I connected a lot with. Now, bear in mind, I connect very well with my family as a whole. It's never been, I mean, there, there have been points in times where there have been hiccups, but never have I ever ran into a point where I had some kind of disconnect with my family. My grandparents, from both sides, are a very good example of this. I've always had a very large connection between every single member of my family. My sister, my brother, my parents, my grandparents, uncles, aunts, etc., etc. And with that being said, when I was asked if I wanted some of these hand-me-down shirts, I said yes. Because to me, these kind of shirts mark a memory. They're... A reminder of the good times that I had with the man who, as of right now, has passed away, but at the time when he was alive, they were... It's a reminder of all the memories that I had with him. I mean, there is a re It's the same reason why I usually keep something. Like, for, for example, I... I Every single ex I've ever had, there is always something I hold on to as kind of a memory. I'm a very optimistic person, so I always keep it as a memoir kind of thing. In the case of hand-me-downs, it's the same premise, the same concept. Obviously, it's not the exact same thing because, I mean, we're talking about a hand-me-down from, like, a family member, which is something that could be tossed aside for the sake of, oh, it's old, it won't work, it won't last very long, blah, 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 versus something that's gifted by someone who a lot of people would want to subside. So, yeah, I, I, I acknowledge the large difference between the two, but for me, psychologically speaking, it's the same premise. And to just subside the idea of having a hand-me-down for the sake of a memory is ridiculous to me.
Now, I do also want to point out once again, because I, I think I already said this earlier, I get that not everyone has a good connection with their parents. There are several people in the world who have a large, large spite, hatred. It depends on the person towards their family. I don't. It's kind of why if I were to ever be offered a hand-me-down, I would take it. Kind of more as a memory. As a relic of history for me. It's the same reason why I do these vlogs. To commemorate points in time. A memory. A uh, hand-me-down video, I guess you could say. Hand-me-downs are something that I think are very precious. Something that, if you have a good connection with someone and they hand something down to you, take it. That hand-me-down could be something very precious, very special in the future. But who's to say? Who knows? These are my thoughts on the matter. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Um, if you like this kind of con uh, content, uh, why not consider subscribing to the channel? Like I said yesterday, there's a chance I might start recreating these type of videos into a different style if I'm talking about something more psychological topic-wise. But we'll see. Anyways, yeah. Uh, if you like this video, make sure to give it a like and consider subbing to the channel. I'm going to head off, though. Thanks again for watching this video, guys. I'll see you all later. Bye.